What's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today with a wonderful box opening video on Scrawler Box. Scrawler Box. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what Scrawler Box is, Scrawler Box is an art subscription box. So what they do is every month they take a bunch of amazing art supplies, put it in this cute, adorable box, and they send it straight to your door. So it's like getting an ultimate magazine full of art supplies, but it's not like looking at the art supplies in the magazine. You get to actually play with the art supplies. When I open it up, this is what it looks like inside. It looks like a cute little envelope and it's got a little sticker and I can just go. I tried to be graceful with that. Ooh, look at these! Okay, okay, okay. So first I have to explain. So this is a really awesome print that Scrawler Box sends me. And it talks all about this artist who made this beautiful owl picture. And wow, those eyes just really stand out. That is amazing. So if I want to learn more about this artist, I can look on the back. And I can go check out their studio, because that's what they have right now, or their Instagram and everything. Another really cool thing that Scrawler Box sends me is this right here. It is a bookmark and it tells me on every single art supply that I have received in this subscription box. So what I have here is a Derwent Graphic Graphite Pencil Tin. So this is super nice because if you want to draw a really detailed pencil portrait, and by using graphite pencils, this is a wide variety of pencils that you can use for it has softer lead, so that means it gets darker, and it it just it's really really nice to work with. But I got leads ranging from 2H all the way to 8B, so that's gonna get super dark. And then I got a Pintel Superb Tech needlepoint pen. I love doing cross hatching with ballpoint pens, so I'm really excited to use this. And then I got an Art Line Super Fine 0.2 and an Art Line 220 Super Fine. Oh, and I got colors! So you can see how the tips are really fine point and they're really, really tiny. And it happens to be the colors brown and orange, so that's gonna be really fun to work with. I was literally just thinking I need a new jelly roll pen. This is a white jelly roll pen. So these are my favorite white gel pens because if you watch any of my videos, then you know how much I use these white gel pens on my galaxy colored pencil pieces or even in general watercolor. Ooh, and then I got two Derwent erasers. So one's a soft eraser and then one's just a regular art eraser. So this is really this is gonna be really nice. Oh my gosh, and they actually sent me a sketchbook! <gasps> oh how fun! And this sketchbook is called CYA5 Sketchbook. And so that means I get to use this for this video! So my favorite, favorite, favorite thing about Scrawler Box is on the back of their bookmarks that they send with all the supplies, on the back they have the Scrawler Challenge. And the Scrawler Challenge is basically use all these art supplies to make whatever theme they have given you on the back of your bookmark. So this month's challenge is nature's eye. So I'm going to take all these art supplies that Scrawler Box has just sent me and I'm going to make a doodle how I would interpret nature's eye with these supplies. So let's go ahead and get started. Got a lemon candy. I don't know what it is but it says lemon and I must eat it. I like it. It tastes like a star. So when I was thinking about what could I draw for this month's Scrawler Challenge, uh, Nature's Eye, of course I wanted to do something related to nature and I wanted to do something relating around an eye. And I was like, well, what, what, what is nature's eye? What exactly do I draw? So um, when I have these wide range of pencils, I like to draw realistically, like use realistic images because I just, when you have that wide range of pencils, you're allowed to like shade crazy awesome, whether it's light or dark. And they're just a lot of fun to work with and it gives you a chance to just broaden your horizons a little bit and challenge yourself to, to act actually shade realistically and draw realistically. So I remember seeing this picture of a butterfly and the butterfly had 
eyes on the back of its wings. Um, now it's, it is a butterfly, it's not a moth. I made sure it wasn't the moth because I was actually looking at pictures of the moths with the eyes on their wings and I was like, no, I don't want to do a moth, I want to do a butterfly. So I did find this butterfly and it's really cool because on the back of its wings, it has two orange eyes. So actually it's like four all together because it's on each side. But um, the eyes are really cool because it just reminded me how I always teach you guys how to draw eyes in my tutorials because I always say include the iris, the pupil, and the shine. And that's what the butterfly had on the back of its wings. And I was just like, oh, this is just so cool. So let's go ahead and talk about the supplies. Now the Derwent Graphic Graphite Pencil Tin, it came with amazing pencils. Like I love working with these pencils because it has such a nice soft lead. So it, it, it's really nice because from 2B up to 8B is just really nice to work with. And my favorite one to use is the 2B just to get around with shading and everything. And then when I get to the really, really black parts of the butterfly, like its torso and the bottom wing had a lot of black and it just has a lot of different shading, like ranges going around all over, but the butterfly does have that white in the middle of its two wings so the top and bottom it has that white so that 2b pencil really helped me and the 8b really really helped me when it came to the black parts of the wings I love cross hatching with ballpoint pens and that Pentel Superb Tech Needle Pen really was really nice to work with. It's a lot different from other ballpoint pens. This is just super nice. And my, of course, my wonderful jelly roll pen. I didn't think I could use it on the pencil, but I totally could. And the, the butterfly had some shiny parts all over its body. So I went in and I added some highlights everywhere. And I gotta admit, those erasers, I smudge a lot when I draw because my hands just drag over it. So those erasers throughout the whole project, especially the middle of parts of the wings and just the highlighted parts wherever I didn't want to put the jelly roll pen really, really helped. And it got rid of all my smudging all over my paper. I should have put a Kleenex underneath my hand, but I didn't because I forgot. But this paper was absolutely fine quality as well. This month, has been an amazing box of supplies. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that and I really just love getting those challenges every month from Scrawler Box because as an artist you can never stop challenging yourself. That is always key as an artist just to challenge yourself, try new mediums, try new styles, and to just push yourself past your limit because chances are you're just strengthening yourself as an artist. But you guys, if you are interested in participating in the Scrawler Challenge with me, then of course you can go and check out Scrawler Box itself. I'm gonna put the website down in the info box down below, and I'm also gonna put it right here. So make sure you go and check out Scrawler Box and get your own subscription box every month and then join me in the Scrawler Challenge. Thank you once again, Scrawler Box, for sending me an amazing box full of art goodies. And I hope everyone will go check it out. And I hope everyone has a most wonderful day and a wonderful week. Bye! Do, 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 do.